are so proud of you, Linda. You're gonna be queen one day. Yeah, Dad. I guess it's great. I guess. What's wrong, sweetie? You don't wanna be queen one day? Is that queen? Sounds like a hard job, and I feel like I'm not ready for it. Nonsense! I feel like we have done a great job raising you as a princess first. And for that, we want to give you a little present that you shall always carry. What is that? Our love! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know y'all love me, but anyways... I just want to take a scroll the garden. Oh, yes, 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 yes. The garden is always open for you. We'll be doing kingly stuff and queen stuff. Sure. I'll go in the garden. Enjoy the garden. I think we put roses in there for you because we know we love... Well, I love roses. Your mother does too. And you do too, so I thought we could include them in the garden. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Dad. I mean, thank you, King David. Thank you, Queen Eleanor. Don't feel like I'm ready to be queen. I feel like I need more time to think about it. I feel like I'm not ready at all. What if I don't know, burn the whole um, town because I'm a horrible queen or... Hey. Who are you and how did you get here? Oh. What are my manners? Sorry, your majesty. Oh, I'm not queen yet. I'm princess. Oh. Well, anyways. The name is Killian. What is your name, lovely lady? Linda. My name is Linda. I think you forgot something. Princess Linda. Great, great. Nice to meet you, Princess Linda. So what are you doing here in the garden all alone? Such a beauty like you shouldn't be alone in this garden. So beautifully. Oh, I'm just thinking about my future. How I'm going to be queen. Oh, yeah. You're going to be queen. Wow, you I'm I I'll I'm sure you'll do a great um queen one day it's not just years is that this job is coming towards me in a few days and I don't know what I'm gonna do beauty like you should already know oh, what's your name again Killian Killian thank you for your kind words sir oh <laughs> no I'm just a simple work guy <laughs> Do you want me to take you out to dinner? Sure. Uh, why not? I'll ask permission to my parents and see what they say. Oh, king and queen, right? Yes. No, no, no. I'll ask them. But we're not dating yet. Oh, that is true. Um, I'll just ask them that I just found a random boy. And he wants me to... Eat dinner with him, how's that? Sure. Go on and see what they say. Um... At seven? Sure. Bye, Killian. Bye, Linda. Hi. Mom and Dad, I wanted to ask for permission to go eat dinner. Oh. And who will that be? His name is Killian. He is such a sweet boy. I want to meet him. What? Sweetie, it's not about wasting time. We need to find you a husband. So we decided, no, I'm not getting married right now. But hear me out, sweetie. I already find someone really nice for you. No, no, no. I don't, I don't want this guy, whoever it is. I imagine he's ugly and I don't want to date him. Well, you're gonna do, uh, what you're gonna do today is not go with that guy, Killian, and you're gonna meet this guy. Um, his name is, what is his name, David? 
Uh, his name is Josh. Even his name sounds ugly. No, I don't want to date him or marry him. Well, like it or not, you're gonna get to know him. But what about Killian? I already told him I was gonna eat dinner with him. We'll cancel the dinner with him. Fine. But this is unfair. I should be picking the husband, not y'all. Well, we pick the husbands that think are gonna f good fit for you. Meaning they look rich. Oh, and no poor people. We don't mix with poor people. Or we don't... Actually, we don't mix with any other people. Because we're royalty. Your mother is right. Oh, this is so unfair. Hi, Killian. Hi. Um, did we tell you we're gonna meet at 7, not at 5? Sorry, but I feel like I have to tell you. I can't go dinner with you. Why? They are setting me up a arrange. They're setting me in a marriage. And I'm being the guy. And I already fell in love with you already. Me, you are the guy I want to spend a life with. Not with this other dude that I'm forced to marry. Look, if they just see me, I imagine that they're gonna change their minds. I can go. Right now. Right now? No, they're gonna kill me. Why? I told them I was going to my room. Instead, I went to the garden. Oh, well, I guess that is true. <laughs> um. What what time is the marriage arrangement thing? At seven. Oh, lovely. At the same time, we were gonna have dinner. Wow. Okay. Um. Well, I can go at six. Okay. What are their parents' names? By the way, your parents' names. Eleanor and David. Okay. I guess I'll just go now. But. Hear me out. I hope this is gonna work because you are such a beauty. Thanks, Killian. Hi there. Let's take a little break. Are you enjoying the doll series? Well, click that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell on so you never miss an episode. Yes, your majesties. What can I help you with? Hi, maid. I want you to set up a really good decoration. Decoration. Okay, what type of decoration? Birthday decoration? Uh, event decoration? Um, party decoration? Oh. Lovely. Um, can you set up a event decoration? And what shall the event be? Marriage. Okay. Um, what type of colors would you like? Cream colors. White. Lightest, lightest yellow you can find. Okay. Hmm. Flowers. White. That's it. Okay, and do you want me to start right now? Yes, please. Um, the decoration should be ready at 7. Yes, your majesty. I'm surely that's going to be possible. <laughs> oh, and who you might be? Hi, your majesties. I would like to introduce myself. I am Killian. And I see there's a marriage. Oh, why is that, you say? Oh, your majesty, I already see the decoration. Who are you, and why are you here? If I could take your daughter to dinner. Oh, well, that's gonna be impossible, sir. Why is that, your majesty? Oh, because, as you see, there's a marriage going on. My daughter is already married and engaged. So, you don't need to date her or anything, but... Hi, Dad. I imagine you already met Killian, my love. What? Him? Don't you see? He is not... Well, he's not part of our family. And I don't care if he's royalty or a stable boy or works. I don't care, Dad. All I care is about love. Are you kidding me? 
how do you think he's gonna like give you money and how you're not gonna have these high standards you're gonna have poor standards Sir, I know I may look poor, but I can manage. How are you going to manage? By working on stables? Sorry, sir, but you're wrong. I work at a store. Oh, lovely. That's even worse. You're not going to see him again, Linda. But, sir, I can get my work. I could get another work if you would like. No. Linda, you're gonna marry this guy today. What? No. I already told you, I don't wanna see him. I don't wanna marry him. I... You'll do as I say, cause I'm king. Yes, but not to your own daughter. Well, I do as I said. I, don't worry, I'll meet you at the garden. Try to escape so I can sell you something. Okay, bye. Oh, David, I already got the wedding dress set up. Do you want me to show you? Not now, Eleanor. I'm sorry, I'm not being rude, but not now. How do you just stop Linda from seeing that guy? But they're in love, David. What's the wrong? They may be in love, but this love may be just impossible. Because I'm going to make it impossible. What are you going to do? I'm going to make her fall in love with this guy and... um. And I'll lock her up in the tower. What? David, are you hearing yourself? She's our daughter, not Rapunzel. Well, she's going to be Rapunzel for just a little bit. So she can't escape from, you know, seeing the guy. David, you know, I feel like this is all wrong. You, you shouldn't stop this. If, if Linda loves this killing guy, then why don't she marry her? I prefer to looking at her really happy instead of being all sad and mad. Cause, he, Cause she's not marrying the right guy. You know, just stay quiet. I imagine that our guest is gonna arrive in any minute now. And he can't hear us talking about Linda. This killing guy. Good evening, your majesties. Hi. Hi. Good evening, your majesty. Good evening. I'm so glad you made it. Yes, I would really love to meet your daughter. Um, and in case if we move in here, I can bring a worker here. Yes. Um, yes, David, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can bring any workers you would like, Josh.